Good morning, loves. I'm here with my morning hair, and I just, I'm editing the video and realized that there was no intro, so this is the intro to the demolition video, video number two. I'm so excited for this one. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. I am absolutely dying to start decorating and organizing, um, but I know there's a lot of steps prior to that. I decided that I'm just going to pimp out the front of the <laughs> ambulance. And to bless the front of the cab even more, my lovely friend made us a beautiful crystal uh, macrame embroidery thing. <laughs> and actually the, the crystal at the bottom is the crystal that brought both Jeremy and I together. Um, it's the reason why we started talking at first was because of that crystal. So very, very significant and meaningful and it's going to be here on this beautiful mirror glamming it out ooh la la you ready to see it yep <laughs> let the unscrewing begin Oh, that weird wall's out. Oh, it's glued. Yeah, wow, yeah, this yeah. is so sturdy. But we weren't sure on what we were going to do for the flooring. Um, some people suggested to keep it because it's easy to clean, but we don't really like the look of it. And we were kind of like frustrated by this little lump because it was wasting some space for us like at least a few inches um for our cabinets and we just realized that it's legit just a stick on and the metal hinge is removable and beneath it is wood so we'll just put some vinyl flooring on top the anti-grip strips we removed and it's all just glued so uh, ambulance has a lot of screws and a lot of glue. <laughs> so we have to remove this to then remove this, but everything is so, so well done. Look at this glue. Not only is there glue, there is also 80 screws. <laughs> the hardest part so far is really these things drilled into the floor are really hard to remove. Um, an electric drill can't even spin in it into it. These ones are really hard to remove uh, These knobs here. So those are the difficulties we're getting right now and also this here um, Is drilled but also has a bolt in the back and there's no access to it Good morning everyone today is the day where I am going to work on the screws that are so difficult to remove <laughs> This is absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. So with a bunch of tools, we managed to remove it, the second one. Now we're gonna remove this one, and then we have a few more afterwards. All right, so Jeremy just came back from work, and I get to show him all the improvements. Yes, so Mia and her grandfather worked so hard, four hours, probably more, taking out these These things. little oh babies. These, I had the hardest time, and you can see the amount of effort these, <laughs> these beautiful souls have made. Look at that. 
Mia was telling me that there's a bunch of sparks, yeah. fireworks. So tonight, game plan, trying to remove this. We're going to move the bench. We're going to move this wall. We're going to try to take apart uh, the floor. Yeah, removing the floor. And finding a way to fill this up. Yeah, we could film the, we could take the, uh, the dimensions and cut little pieces and fill them up. There's a product, too, that we can fill it up, apparently, with. And then also removing this chair to remove this fully, all the floor. Okay. How does that sound? Let's do it. Yeah. Alrighty, so we are removing this chair just for the time being as we're going to have more space to work. And also um, as we lay down the floor and we want to have um, less trimming to be done so it's going to be easier if the chair is out so we'll take it out for now and we're i'm also working on removing the floor fully um it's quite hard because a lot of this stuff is glued on so a lot of pulling a lot of unscrewing and a lot of fun <laughs> oh there's hair here i know <laughs> Ooh, la la Beauty. Oh my god, look at that. This is what this is what the electrician Beautiful. needs. My goodness. Wow. Access to these. Honestly, uh we watched a lot of van life videos, how they're saying uh for ambulance to conversions is very difficult. But you know, the universe, you know, the divine gave us this ambulance and we have the resources and tools, people, connections to make this possible. And it's not as hard as people make it seem. It's just effort, dedication, and that's all you need. Yeah, we're feeling super grateful for all the resources that we have that are helping us with this. Yes. We're not doing this alone. No. Mm. The beautiful chair is out. The floor is coming off slowly. Woohoo! Jeremy at yeah. work. <laughs> and. You can't stop. All right. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> and I'm figuring out how to unscrew this because we could cover this up with some beautiful fabric and we can paint this maybe even the light blue. Ooh la la. Things just got real. Look at this. No more walls, no more bench, no more floor. And it's all here. <laughs> Things just got real. Good morning, my beautiful angels. Yesterday was a productive day, but I didn't get the chance to film anything. So I wanted to share with you guys what is new. So my uncle came and offered his beautiful help to help us get rid and remove this, which is the last piece from the van that is left to remove. As, long, as well as the rims, of course, but the last big thing to remove. And as you're going to be able to see, is it's really um, hard to remove because of the connections. There's a bunch of electrical wires um, holding it on. So we will be calling in a electrician very, very soon um, to come help us out to see what we can cut off and what we want to keep. And... Yesterday, as we removed that, I discovered a new possibility, a change in the original plan, and it is to add a window in the door, and I will show you why. So, as a recap, washroom is going to be here, kitchen is going to go all the way to here, and then, as this is now removed, we're going to make a beautiful office space here, like a little desk, and this beautiful chair is going to be the office chair. That being said, right here is the door from the side compartment. And we realized that there was a beautiful piece of metal that was hung there. And as we unscrewed it, an opening happened. <laughs> and I'm going to show you guys from the other way what is possible so we could have a beautiful window right there and the advantage of that is that the window um initially we wanted to put the window initially we wanted to put the window there here as like a counter like above the counter of the kitchen but there's a bunch of beams and a bunch of structure 
so we would have to cut through the beams and through the structure. Instead, beautiful opening here, the thickness of the door is nothing. There's insulation, I don't know if you guys can see. Insulation, this piece of thing that we can just remove with screws. Um, and then the thickness just of the, the yellow, the van, just, it's about this thick. So we will try to find a window the size of this door to have the most beautiful view from the office. Woohoo! <laughs> and another big change, another big realization is that this beautiful tire can go underneath in the back here. There is a hook to hold the spare tire. So that will save us even more space. So things are coming along, things are getting clearer, and it's exciting. I wonder what we got at the hardware store. What do you think, Jer? Not too sure. Not too sure, eh? <laughs> it's, all shit, it's all shit and giggles it's, <laughs> until somebody giggles and shits. <laughs> As we said, we are beginners, we've never done this before, and so it's so normal that we're frustrated or need a little bit more research. Um, we were really optimistic. We went to the, the, the <laughs> hardware store and wanted to get a few things, but ended up not getting anything other than this piece of wood that we're going to use for the base of the floor, so to fill in the gaps. Um, and we're a little bit frustrated, but again, this frustration is going to make us enjoy the end product so much more. It's going to allow us to fully embrace at the end when, it's, when this is all done and we lay on our beds and we see what we've done. Um, we're going to remember all this friction, all this, um, these like mix-ups mix or things that got in the way and we'll be like, oh, we can appreciate it so much more. So I have this like vision of the plan so clearly in my mind, but... I don't quite have the steps cleared yet. <laughs> We're gonna go back home and get researching. A few days later, we got the anti-rust spray agent sprayed under the ambulance. And today we're gonna to move the metal rims, rails, That are drilled into the floor. Yeah. That we're gonna break the screws up so that we can remove them. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna draw out the shape of the Fan, fan on, on the, the ceiling, ceiling. Yep. and then one day we will make the hole. <laughs> hopefully soon. Yes, hopefully yeah, soon. Maybe this weekend. So these are the handy dandy rails that we are going to be removing. There's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws for this, what, like five foot long rail. Yep. Um, it's absolutely ridiculous and they are all really built in um, into the flooring and into the metal piece so i'll give you guys a shot of it closer jeremy is always telling me to go put some shoes on as a safety hazard i don't know what that means but i guess i'll go put some shoes on <sighs> ready to work all right so strategy number one is going to be using a drill with the size drill of the screw And then if that doesn't work, we'll do a bigger screw. We're just trying to break the screw in half, basically. Yeah. <laughs> and then if that doesn't work, we have the Andy grinder. Andy. <laughs> Hopefully we get to level three. <laughs> yeah, getting ready to, uh, <laughs> to grind. Do it look cute? Very. Chicken butt. We have one, two, three, four, five, and all on the other side to do. So we got 13 to do? Yeah. Let's do it. 
<laughs> Why do you sound so motivated? <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot. Not only are there bolts, but there's also glue. I tried to scratch my nose through the thing. <laughs> Is that why the metal rod, the metal rail is still stuck on the floor? Yeah. Wow. So there's glue and these like obnoxiously um, bolted ships. Bolted bolts. Okay. So we'll have to take a. Okay. All right, let's get to work. Sounds good. Huh? My turn? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> What just happened there? So, with the help of Nia's grandfather, we just took out the rails. All of them. These were so hard to take out. There's even wood and glue on the bottom. It's it's literally insane. And they're all off. Ah, it looks so pretty. I feel like this was the last part of the demolition, right? Yeah. And this, of course, but this is held by the wires. beautiful wires. So yet to be taken out. And that's yeah. It. <gasps> After that, we just clean up, sand the the floors and whatnot. We make a hole on the roof. Oh, that's not too good. There's the wind. <laughs> we're very lucky he didn't bruise the car. Nice. <laughs> All right. So next up, we're just taking off the um, ends of the screws with the buffer. So that the floor is flat and then we'll lay out the plywood maybe even. We could do the measurements all today. See where we want everything to be landing. Yeah. Draw it. We can take out the electrical wires soon too. Yeah. yeah. This is fun. I think this wraps up the video of just demolition. What do you think? Yeah, I think the video after will be either installing the fan or removing the electrical wires. There you go. Yeah. All right. Well. All righty. So this ends the video of the death. <gasps> Ow! This finishes off the video of the demolition. <laughs> so we removed all the things in the van that we didn't want anymore. Yes. I got some funky glasses and we're excited for the next step. Bye guys.